Hello everybody and welcome back to a brand new video. In today's video, we are going to be attempting to install Lineage OS on this Amazon Fire tablet from 2016. Um, yeah, so let's just get straight into it. I'll drop this guide down in the description in case you want to do this yourself. Apparently it requires Linux, which hopefully this isn't going to be a nightmare. Um, yeah, I'll drop this down here. I have already enabled developer mode. Um, found the serial number, downloaded these files. I will not be using Google Apps. And I've already dis um, downloaded the following dependencies and disabled modem manager. This does require taking apart the Kindle Fire. Not even entirely sure why yet, but you know, <laughs> let's just follow the guide. It says you need something like paperclip, something like this. I'm going to be using a sim ejector tool. I've used this to flash an Xbox 360 hard drive, uh, not hard drive, DVD drive, which is pretty funny. Alrighty, make sure you remove your SD card. We don't need a r slash um, Steam Deck. <laughs> um, okay, we got to turn it off. That's the good first step. <laughs> Alrighty, now we're just going to take it apart. The guide says start opposite from that side other side with the SD card so that's what I'm going to do I'm gonna to try to get my uh, tool in between this little in between this gap here I am gonna raise up my tripod a bit you can actually see there we go this went right in probably should be using plastic tools that probably be recommended um, but I'm gonna be using the screwdriver Hopefully I don't, didn't just puncture the battery. <laughs> do It says, um, now continue along this side and do the top part last. Whoa. Okay, top part last. <laughs> okay, nick the battery a little bit, but it's fine. Alrighty, next step here is to try to remove this heat shield, heat shield, the big one, by gently prying the flat end of a screwdriver or pry tool under the latch points, identified by indentations in the metal. So, see a little indentation there, so I'm going to try to just... Uh, Whoa, that scared me. Okay, we're good. We're good again. Gotta be really careful there, but there we go. Off it comes. That was slightly scary. We didn't break anything though. All right. So we gotta open the files we downloaded. Alrighty. Now we open a terminal in the ammo net folder that we, um, after we extracted it, you can see the path right there. So apparently we just run sudo dot slash boot rom dash step dot sh. Probably need to plug in the thing, don't I? We'll see. All right, waiting for boot rom. Okay, let's connect the USB cable to the PC or fire not both. In case you don't know, um, in case you can't tell, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just trying to figure it out, and I'm trying to pretend like I'm making a tutorial. I want to plug it into the USB 2 port. Maybe that'll help. Maybe that matters. This is a old laptop. The USB 3 port is a little weird. And the question is, is do I get another USB cable? Because this one is sketchy and does not charge the thing correctly. Um, I'm going to grab a different USB cable and be smart. Alrighty, I got a USB cable that won't disconnect in the middle of it, hopefully. Alright, this is really reminding me of flashing a 360 DVD drive. Alrighty, using the shorting device, short the pin shown in the appendix. So let us just find that. Of course, I don't have it open. <laughs> Alrighty, that pin right there is what we need to short. By the way, not a tutorial. I'm not responsible for thermonuclear war, whatever the warning says on these things. Um, all right, connect it, short the pin, maintaining the short, connect it to the PC. All right, 
So I'm gonna find that pin now on the on the thing. Okay. So it looks like I'm holding it the wrong way and I should be holding it this way. And the thing I want to short is that little thing right there. Probably can't see it because I barely can. All right, so I have to somehow short the pin right there while plugging it into the PC. So I'm gonna bend down. I'm gonna bend the uh, camera down a little bit. Okay, I'm not gonna rest it on the touchpad. That's not the smartest move I could be doing. And I am going to short that pin. All right, that looks right. And plug it into the computer. All right, the USB port on this thing turns out it's failing slightly, so we're gonna tape it a little bit. Um, <laughs> and uh, turns out I was doing it wrong. I have to short from that pin to this frame. So make sure you use your little thing, whatever it is, a paperclip, whatever. You short from that pin to this frame. Um, I'm gonna give it a go. See if I can get it to work again. Update. I got some tweezers instead. It is way easier. I'm gonna keep trying. I think it's been like 20 minutes. Uh, this is a little finicky, I guess. I was just about to give up, and it did it. It did it. Okay, so basically, switch the USB cable, switch the tape around. See that little tiny pin with the scratches on it? Basically, just put that one prong on the pin, put the one prong on near the shield, and it actually worked. It says remove the short and press enter. Here we go. Please work. Come on. I beg of you. I'm not going to make you wait. Don't worry. I'm going to have to wait in anticipation, but I'll just skip. It. The script completed. I think we're in business. Okay, I'm going to take a tiny peek at the screen. You can see the little text right there, so it actually worked. We're not going to touch that again. Alrighty, next step is to type sudo fast uh, boot, do fast boot step. Paste that in there. See what happens? Oh, no such device. I hopefully didn't disconnect when I bumped the when I moved the USB cable. It says writing flash OK on the screen, um, but it's supposed to start TWRP. Mm, that's not good. Alrighty, so. It says it's rebooting into TWRP. Really good, it just showed up there. Okay, so I think this USB port, like I said, is just a little janky. Um, so I just wiggled it around, unplugged it, plugged it back in a couple times, and ran the script again, and it worked. Hopefully we are in TWRP. Yes, let's go. That's super cool. Select wipe, and then format data, and then we'll type yes to continue. Yes to continue and then press OK. So we'll wipe the data. All right, now it tells me to select advanced wipe and tick the boxes next to cache and system. And swipe to wipe. Now back back out to the main menu. I got to the main menu, select advanced, and then ADB side load, uh, swipe to start slide side load. All right, so now it's waiting for the PC. Be very careful, try to put this back. Hopefully our USB plays nice. ADB, ADB side load, open this. ADB side load, and then I'm th pretty sure we just drop, yep, the .zip, which in this case is lineage, uh, lineage OS 14.1. We just drag that in, we press enter, no devices found. Already played with the connection a bit, it is now side loading. Please actually work. Um, yeah, this, you know, this Kindle super old, port's not great. 
got to keep messing with it, but I mean, it seems to be going through now. Nothing is without its problems, is it? Hopefully this succeeds. Ready? Um, it actually succeeded. I'm really surprised this is actually working, honestly. I really didn't expect this to work. Uh, so this is probably wasn't the most structured video, because honestly, like I said, didn't even expect this thing to work at all. Let's do ADB Reboot. And hopefully, this boots us into Lineage OS. I really hope it does. Got the Amazon logo. <laughs> we got the boot logo. That's a really, really good sign. I've had it many times. Lineage OS just fail to boot past this, so. But that's a great start. And with that, it actually, it took a really long time to boot, but it actually is working. And I've completed the initial setup. This is actually so cool. This is only the second device I've ever installed a custom ROM on. Um, never really can get them to work. And yeah, as you can see, now we are running Android 7.1.2 on this Fire Tablet, which is super awesome. Um... If you guys want to see more stuff like this, make sure to like, subscribe, all that good stuff. And another video on this showing the usability. Might as well actually just uh, complete this video off by uh, showing me putting it back together. Alright. And I'll put my SD card back in. With all the actual books and stuff. Because yes, I'll actually use this thing for reading. Um, put that in there. Yeah, and with that, we're done. Goodbye.